Hey everyone, today I'll be going over a guide for the newest event in Guns of Glory, Darklands. Thank you to K496 Finley for the guide tips and for K524 Clyde, aka Abba, for editing this video. Like all events, Darklands will show you in the event center, where you will see time slots for your alliance to register. The scrolls will remain closed at first and will open once you register. After registration, you can choose which Alliance members will participate. Members must be added manually through the Clash settings screen, either by an R4 or the Clan R5. A checked box indicates an Alliance member's participation. Additional rules for registration are shown on the screen in front of you. Ten minutes before the Clash begins, you can enter the battlefield through the Event Centre. Upon entering the battlefield, Lords can choose one decisive command and one astute command, shown on the screen in front of you. These commands give you an advantage during the event, and each clan member can choose one decisive and one astute command. The rules of Darklands are very simple, and solo points and alliance points by occupying landmarks, attacking vampire nobles or mining. The alliance with the highest score will be victorious, a tie is considered a loss for both sides. If either alliance occupies all landmarks for 15 consecutive minutes, they will be victorious. Special Battlefield Benefits All Lords also gain a Curio, which can be equipped to one march and grants bonus battle statistics. The Curio bonus also applies to your castle. All Lords also receive a support airship accompanying each march, with identical stats to your main airship. You enter a battlefield and will be placed in a safe zone with the opposing clan on the opposite side of the map. Click the map during the match to see which landmarks your clan and the opposing clan has control of and the points rates for each landmark. Keep in mind that players can send troops to up to five landmarks at a time, so be strategic with which landmarks you choose to conquer. Each landmark gives different amounts of points while under Alliance control. Point amounts per minute will be shown while viewing the map during the event. At 15, 30 and 45 minutes, a Vampire Noble will spawn. The Alliance dealing the final hit during each stage of the Vampire Noble's health will receive the critical hit rewards. Defeating the Vampire Noble gives great troop boosts, so make slaying them a priority. Troops in Darklands can only be wounded, not killed. You can heal them quickly during the match. Click the Battlefield Hospital to enter the healing screen. Equipment benefits do apply. Silver and iron mines also spawn during the match and can be found while viewing the map. Gathering at these mines will also earn solo and alliance points. During the match, click the banner at the top of the screen to view clash details and see alliance and individual point earnings. Rewards earned during the clash will be sent via system mail after the event. Cursed Essence is earned as a reward and can be used in the shop after the match in exchange for additional rewards. Additional tips. During the last 10 minutes of the clash, time landmarks and mines will produce double the amount of points, so make sure to fight extra hard until the end. Pro tip. Instant gather talent does work on the battlefield, so you could gather all your marches instantly and then get back into the towers to maximise your points. If you're having trouble capturing a landmark, aim for the elemental shrine for the first additional 1000% troop attack and defence bonus. While in the event, you get one free teleport at the start and one free teleport every 15 minutes. The battle can get hectic with so many landmarks to capture, so make sure you communicate with your team and work together. Good luck everyone, we'll be adding more event guides soon, so don't forget to subscribe for more.